Portland. Uh, next narrow gauge ride wasn't for an hour, so we are catching the Amtrak doing its reverse move out of the Portland terminal. This is actually a northbound train, or an eastbound train going west right now. Portland Terminal, they have to go in and back out to get back out on the main line. So now they'll clear the signal, clear the switch, and ask the dispatcher's permission to proceed east. That was something to watch. Never watched them do that before. This is a nice little spot too, down here in uh, Portland. That's the fourth plane I've seen so far. Time to head back to the narrow gauge because it's almost time to board. Oh, we're here at Rigby Yard. I'm trying to beat an Amtrak right now. Here they go. Around all the freight. There are two EOTs. One looks like it's on a POAY and one looks like it's on a POED, but I'm not sure. But yeah, this is Rigby Yard. Not too much is happening right now. They haven't started putting together uh, EOWA, yeah, I guess. But there's uh, the old tower. Lots of cool stuff here. It's kind of hard to get to, but you can see it from this bridge. There's a business back there. You can go uh, check out my video from my last year trip to Maine. Uh, yeah, I don't know if any of these freights are going anywhere, but probably won't get to see any of them, sadly. We are in Saco, Maine. I'm running again. The gates are down, the train is coming, I believe it's Amtrak. I also heard AYPO, but I... Oh yeah, Amtrak's leaving. It says don't walk, but I'm walking. Don't do this, kids. That thing's loud. cabbage all right look at that this is a very unique crossing right here railroad crossing river 
the tracks cross the road on the river. It's very unique. Never seen anything like it. There's an old boat. Look at that. Fool's gold. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where AYPO is. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Hopefully I'll find out though. Right now I think it's time. Uh, we're going back to the Saco Scoop to uh, get ice cream. I don't know even where it is. I'm a little confused here. As you can tell, <laughs> well, we got some ice cream at the Saco Scoop. And uh, while everyone else finishes up, I'm checking out the uh, Saco Station. Very nice building, clock tower, little platform. I believe POAY is coming south, but I'm not sure if we can wait for it. The thing with freights is you never really know how long they're going to be. But yeah, they got a nice high level platform here. I really am impressed with the quality of the Amtrak service here in Maine between Boston and Brunswick. Yeah, nice little platform. There's the uh, unique crossing down there and it crosses the river again up here because we're actually on an island right now. The station's on an island, so yeah, pretty cool. It's 118 again on the rear for, uh, I don't know, this might be the fifth time. I'm trying to get some varied shots here. Wells doesn't have too many good rail fanning spots, so I've been at the station a lot, as much as I hate it. There they go. Next train is 684. South, or, uh, keep wanting to say southbound. Westbound Amtrak. Down Easter, 684, destination Boston. Cabbage car leading. Ninety-four pushing hard on the rear. Last stop on this trip, White River Junction. Sun's going down. We gotta make sure we get to Essex, New York, or uh, Charlotte, Vermont, for the ferry to Essex, New York. Vermont Railway job from Newport tied down here. 
matching leaser units. I think they're matching. I mean, they look matching to me, but yeah, not much going on here. I don't know where the uh, New England Central job is. Uh, yeah, good to stop. We're uh, eating dinner here quickly, and then we got to get back on the road. There's old NECR 437 tied down in the same spot it was when we were here one month ago. Yeah, not much going on here, I guess. Anyway, coming to you from White River Junction, it was a great trip. Thanks for following along. Wish we caught a few more freights, but we did what we could. Stay tuned.